Hey everyone, um, so in this video we will see how we solve the, um, the issue that we may have for the KL simulation mode. So as you know KL is one of the, uh, is the ARM programming software. Um, so let's start quickly. We create a new project, let's uh, give it a name. Um, new project or, um, okay let's say new project and um okay so control a control c i like calling the same uh the the file name and the folder containing them so just to, to keep some consistency for the um microcontroller i will be using the stm32 f103 um and then c8 i will explain why Okay, so we select and uh, as a startup pack, we just use uh, the, the core and the um, startup. So this file is setting up uh, these two selection will set up the, um, the minimum requirement of the uh, setup for the, the clock. Uh, let put yes, so let uh, just customize a little bit, just a little bit file I'm uh, putting here STM just to, to be consistent F1 and um, the group here we just change it to app and inside we create a main sorry here and we add a new item a C1 called main good so um, let's just put the main function void and just go for return zero. Just to see. And let's include just for fun the header file. Okay. Let's run and see. So there's zero error, one warning, no problem at all. Uh, to select the testing device, we go through here, the debugger, and then we choose the STLink debugger, but no, that will be another video. So if we use simulator and we put OK, and we try to go to the simulation mode, here for the de debugger within the simulation mode. We can see, so that's a limitation, that's normal. And we do have this error, 65 access violation, no read permission. So um, this is coming because uh, that's old project. And also as um, this is STM, we need to, to, to add some different settings. Um, so to, to do that, so let's close the, 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 the window go back to, to the normal mode and so we go back to the simulator so for this one um, you have to go to the debugger and there is um, a website here and it explains so this is um, a legacy product and you will need to, to put some parameters for um, the, the simulation so I will share the link later on and for us it will be this product this STM related and you have to put this parameter here and here so I make a smaller window so uh, okay can't move it that's fine so let's select first this one paste here and the next one So when you do this, and let's run again, and we test for the simulation. Now we don't have any more this um, error message, and also it's it's quite fantastic because you do have a lot of option. You can see how your system is running. One of the things, for example, is you can see how is your clock, how is everything is running, all your parameters, the bus speed, every setup. So it's quite 
really interesting even you don't do have the microcontroller you can really use a simulation and work on however so um let me go back a little bit so for for to to, to confirm in this testing so in the, the the parameter we have parameters we have been seeing you have some stm 32 f1 the nxp and also at the end some atmels and the texas instrument at the end but this one are old microcontrollers so i will make another video to show how to do it for the next generation and um let me before finish just uh giving you a small heads up for the the the, um, the, the microcontroller i have used i use the stm32 f103 um c8 because uh, I, there is a very cheap really interesting um a small board this board costs around two dollars and um it can goes to 72 megahertz speeds and you have quite enough inputs and enough peripheral to um to to do a lot of things for just two dollars so i quite um advise you to to go with it um for the the issue of the next generation i will make another video explaining how to to go on with it um i think that's all for the video thank you for your follow-up and see you later on thanks